What's up guys? Today we're swinging into super action with Spider Gwen, so stick around. Today's video is made possible by my supporters on Patreon. For as little as a dollar a month, you too can support the creation of my upcoming artwork, videos, lessons, and all of my delightfully creative habits while earning awesome rewards of your own, like free high-res drawings, paintings, and early release content, and even discounts on commissioned artwork. Sign up for free at Patreon.com. What's up everybody, this is Derek Stewart. Thanks for checking out my show. Today we're gonna to be drawing this here, Spider-Gwen by Cosplay Genius, Raw Yet. Uh, so today I'm just gonna talk a little bit about experimentation. And uh, I'm purely in the artistic sense of the term. Um, when I first approached this piece, I wanted to try something a little bit more painterly. I've seen other artists out there on YouTube and Instagram and art station who had this wonderful knack for making sort of an oil painting sort of aesthetic with uh, and they kind of couple it with uh, with sort of more stylized kind of a character or pinup drawing and I love that look I think it's fantastic problem is I don't know if I'm that good yet <laughs> so I wanted to take a little just a, just an evening and sit down and and paint my version of it and that's what you're seeing here. And basically my approach was just kind of blocking out color <clears throat> in, in various layers uh, and then start, um, I guess, adding some, I guess, I, uh, some rough outlining, but I didn't want to go too heavy on the line art. I didn't want it to look, in this case, like a, I guess like a comic book drawing. I, I definitely wanted to have a more oil painting kind of a feel um, or at least uh, an acrylic painting or something painterly you know and um, I don't know that I, I necessarily knocked it out of the park but I think the the moral of the story here was just to try something new and kind of stretch my stretch my abilities in in a way that they don't ordinarily get stretched and I think that's important as an artist to, to grow and, and learn from from the people that you admire and maybe look up to um, there there was a lot of a lot of techniques I'm not super familiar with and um, and you know what I think that's okay it you know you don't necessarily you know nobody is born knowing how to draw you might have some inherent talent or whatever but it's it's important that you remember to stretch your abilities and, and try new things and I, I did that uh, I don't know if it's necessarily successful but it's a success in in my mind in the sense that you know I can say that I did it and and I, I learned something from it so but at the end of the day, I like to make art that people like to consume and maybe maybe put up on their wall. Um, and you know, there's certain things like the the eyes. You can see I'm kind of going over and over again, and it just didn't quite match the 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 energy that I wanted, uh, or at least the energy that I had in the original pencil sketch. Um, so that, that in my mind was kind of like, well, you know, this is this has been a fun experiment. I'm glad I did it, but I think it's time to uh, time to do it for real. And um, you know, I think you know, looking back at this, it's it doesn't look too bad. It doesn't look fantastic in my in my own opinion. I think um, there's certain things I could have done better. But again, practice. It's all about. It's all about experimentation and, and trying, trying new things. I'm kind of droning on and on. I don't really know where the end of this <laughs> the paint is gonna stop. So let's just watch for a second. I'm gonna sip my coffee. Pow, I just, sh no. Uh, I'm not gonna pull Mark Marin's justcoffee.co up. Maybe I'll cut that. <laughs> you guys listen to any good podcast? I'm looking for good pop podcasts all the time. Mark Maron, I love that guy. He's awesome. Maybe one of these days I'll I'll do a a, a picture of Mark Maron. So we don't need to talk about that. That would be an interesting experiment, especially since I drop pinup girls all the time. Maybe I'll drop Mark Maron in a pinup. 
that'd be something we could all enjoy. So there's the finished product there. Um, yeah, it's interesting. It's not not terrible. There's some problems with it, but I, I think it worked out okay. But you know, at the end of the day, like I said, I, I like to draw stuff that that people can actually hang their head on, something that I can feel more much more comfortable putting my name on. And I just kind of went back to, um, I guess, back to the actual. Not the actual, but the the uh, the process that I'm more comfortable with, which is just laying down some line art, laying blocking out some color, and uh, you know laying it down a little bit like a like a traditional comic book. Um, so let's watch for a second. We drink some more coffee. I just realized that that. Uh, Mark Marion thing probably made no sense to some of you. That's okay. You should check out his podcast. It's amazing. I'm not being paid for that. I'm not being paid for any of this. <laughs> That's awesome. I just do this for the fun of it. Oh, actually, no. So there was something that I did something different here. I'm glad I'm watching this now. So ordinarily, when I when I uh, do this kind of uh, uh, digital piece, I'll, I'll just jump right into color. Uh, blocking out color and and you know maybe laying over a multiply layer with with a of the same same color and just kind of go from there. Problem with that is that I always find that those those kind of paintings end up looking a bit flat. And I thought that that was actually one of the problems that I found in the original Spider Gwen that I did from earlier. Um, I didn't take the time to really block out values and find where the light and the shadow was falling or falling and um, that was something that I really wanted to dive deeper into uh, on this version so it's still uh, in a sense experimentation or at least a, a study of light and shadow but also applied to the uh, I guess the, the more comfortable workflow that I that I've grown accustomed to uh, with the line art first and, and things, but um, this also set up for. Uh, so I feel like this this sets myself up to think more in terms of um, just forgetting about what is happening with the color for a second and really focusing on on the light. And I think even as you can see here, uh, if I was just gonna stop at the at the value, I still think it looks like a pretty pretty solid painting um, you know I, I personally find black and white photos and black and white drawings and even just pencil drawings um, to be pretty compelling and interesting to look at so uh, I think that's a lot of fun right there but but of course wanted to take it a step further and see just how the, um, the inclusion of the color on top of uh, on top of the, the value painting um, actually actually worked all in you know, uh, all together um, so you can see I'm kind of starting to paint in some finer detail and color and highlights and stuff um, I remember thinking though that the uh, the hair wasn't quite where I wanted it to be so I'm kind of messing around with that right now the problem with having a super stylized character is you can't go, you can't really super, you know, pick and choose between what you're gonna have as being stylized and you know what's gonna be super realistic. You you kind of have to, um, well, at least in my mind when I'm doing this, I kind of have to rein myself in. I, like up with the hair, I originally wanted to make it look quite a bit like real hair but then also have line art over it. And that wasn't quite working. So I had to go back and actually do some, some retooling on, on the, the hair. And also I wanted to add a, a nice pop of highlight on, on the edge of the uh, one here, which you can see right on the edge, kind of more, more of a, I guess, rim light is what you would consider it as you look at like the, 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 the sun coming from the background. And uh, yeah, so I think all that experimentation paid off. 
Tell me what you think in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I will catch you next time. Thanks for watching. I hope you don't mind my rambling as I sip through my coffee. It is only 8, 10 in the morning and I'm about to head out for work. So, love you guys. I uh, will talk to you next time. Bye-bye.